Ah, we've made it back. That was a long old drive from Zilonka. And thanks for doing the last stint Nordic. Ah, oh, it looks like everything is still in order. The auto drivers haven't destroyed the farm. <sighs> oh, but boy, that was a long old journey back. I'm pretty tired. Oh, the grapes are not growing at the moment. And oh, it looks like the olives might be in season again. Ah, home sweet home. Have you missed us chickens? I think they probably have, you know. Alright, yep. Yeah. House is still in one piece. That is always a good sign. And it's very nice of your cousins to give us the motorbike. Zilonka. We will have that as a memory of our lovely adventures. Right, we better get rested, Nordic, and then it's back on to Calmlands Farming tomorrow. Hello everyone and welcome back to Calmlands, the long-awaited return whilst Nordic and I have been in Zalonka. This is back to Calmlands for the multiplayer co-op and it is now August so Nordic and I have got some catching up to do but first things first we need to pay off some debts. We took some money out of Calmlands to help fund the antics and projects in Zalonka and that was about 1.8 million so let's transfer that to the bank. Oh, that's put a dent in the money situation, but luckily we have got quite a lot of funds in Calmlands thanks to our sprawling lands and the farm that we've built up here. But yeah, Nordic and I have got a full day of work to be getting on with, and first of all, we've got some harvests. So I think the harvesters are down by the BGA. <laughs> Back to the lizard colossuses. Fantastic. I think these were here from when we had a harvest in Lake Viewfield on the other side of the woods there. But we have got canola in Lakeside Field and it's ready to harvest now. And there's also another field, Hillside Field, which has got sunflowers in. So we've got a grain harvest first of all and then a sunflower harvest second of all. Fired up. So Nordic is getting the mother bins and the truck and trailers set up for doing the carting. We will get the harvesters set up so we can commence the harvesting. So let's detach that header trailer there. Get this one set up and then we'll move on to the second one. Big old headers these. And it looks like we have got some silage fermenting in our bunker silos. It's probably fermented by now, so looks like we've got some to load into the BGA at some point. Harvester number two. And we can just drop off the trailer there. Loop round and grab the header. Aha, here comes our first mother bin and truck and trailer. Spin round and... Oh, not beacons. We want to unfold. There we go. Right, so the mother bins and the carting trucks are getting set up over there. I think there should be another one up the top somewhere. Probably on the track. Here's the other truck. Ah, uh, there we go. I can see the other mother bin in the distance carrying her down the track. Let's just inspect the map and see the state of play. So hopefully you'll all remember where we're up to. We have got our olive vines up in the top right and then our grape vines in field number one. This orange area here is hillside field where we have sunflowers ready to harvest. We've got cowman field and pig farm field that are harvested and ready for the next crop to be drilled. Lake Viewfield is where we harvested barley, I think it was last time, and all the straw bales have been collected from there mostly. Down in the bottom right, we have our largest field, South Bank, which we extended, and that is also ready to receive a crop. Ridgeway, which is in the light green, where our poplar is regrowing. Lake Side Field, where we are going to harvest our canola today. And then over here is Arrowdown, which is our newest field. And we are yet to put our first crop in there, so we will have to lime it and then drill it. 
All right, Nordic is ready and setting off. We will follow suit and no straw as byproduct from our canola. So, yeah, nothing to worry about there. It's just all going to get blitzed up. And Nordic and I do need to press on because there's some rain on the forecast coming at two o'clock. So we've got this harvest of canola and also hillside fields harvest of sunflowers to get done before then. So we're going to get busy and see you when we're finished. down and that's the canola all harvested unlike nordic i'm just going to go drop the header off before we do the little run to unload the last amount now the good thing about these lizard colossuses is they have a rather large capacity in the hopper which yes makes our lives a little bit easier and yes means we don't have to unload as much and the mother bins are more than capable of handling the volumes we're talking about so let's think i think we can just drop that off there that looks to be aligned there we go oh god oh dear i haven't done that very well oh it's automatically fixed itself fantastic right let's hitch up and go and unload to the mother bin on the way back and yes, we unloaded one load or two loads into the mother bin near the lake and we'll unload the rest over on this mother bin here. So we are not neglecting it and actually just deposit into the truck straight away. There you go. Life is a bit easier. There we go. Right, pipe in and let's head on back to the farm. I think it's fair to say that this field is a little bit 
finicky with harvesting grain because the headers we've got are rather large and there is a little bit of undulation so sometimes we do end up missing bits and that's probably meaning that we need to smooth out some of the terrain and replow it or just repurpose the field maybe just grass would be better um, and we have quite a lot of fields now so repurposing it would not be too much of a problem right we'll flick into cab view here so we can just meander the turn and make it so right we'll head back to the farm get the grain headers dropped off and then we need to reconfigure our corn headers to the lizard colossus or class colors and then we can crack on with the sunflower harvest and we have until about 2 p.m before that rain comes and you'll be pleased to know that our pigs and our cows and our chickens for that fact are all happy and healthy whilst we've been away in Zalonka. The workers on the farm have kept good care of them. And here is our sunflower, a lovely golden brown ready to harvest. But let's drop these headers back into the yard and switch to the corn headers. I think we can drop this header off here. That's probably where we parked it beforehand. But Nordic and I have been talking. I think we do need to once again upscale the size of the yard and we're thinking we'll actually build a separate yard. One for housing all of our trucks because we have four trucks. We have quite a large fleet now with associated trailers and yeah, it is quite hard to manage and find the space for all of that stuff. So we're thinking a truck and potentially a harvester orientated yard somewhere down where our production zone is that's probably the best place we have available for it so i'm just going to see if i can tuck into the shed here and get this header reconfigured there we go that is a lovely class green so we can get the header reattached and nordic will do the same with his harvester right let's reverse out of here and one thing I have noticed with this harvester is sometimes it does look like it's tilting the header I don't know if it's because it's too large but it just looks like it's lower down on one side maybe it's a uh, mirage maybe it's not actually the case but it does just look a little bit wonky at times right let's get set up for harvesting hillside field I think Nordic has asked our auto drivers and the mother bin to come back over here for us to unload into and we've done Nordic a favor and reconfigured his header as well so it is color coordinated of course we didn't really need to do that it's just a nice to have and we can hop out of this harvester jump in the other one and I think it's worth saying that I think whilst we've been away in Zalonka the lizard colossuses have had some sort of maintenance or upgrade and they are sounding a little bit different there's kind of a whistle from the engine sound which is quite interesting i don't think that was there before but nonetheless right let's hop back in the harvester and we'll wait for nordic to arrive all right nordic is ready so we can unfold the header first time we're using it on the lizard colossus but this Capello corn header is definitely worthy of the Lizard Colossus, that's for sure. Unfold the harvester and we can get started. I don't think this is going to take long at all. Right, yes, that is unfolded, so let's get started.
There we go. Tidied up the scraps I missed when doing the headland. We can fold up the header now, get the pipe opened. And, oh, I don't want to go into the second tra trailer if I can afford to. We just want to fill up, hopefully, the one trailer. Need to move a little bit over. Deceived myself by folding in the header and not knowing the width of the pipe. There we go. Hopefully it will all fit in this one trailer. And thanks to the hopper size, we didn't need to unload. Nope. There we go. We still got a little bit left. So that driver's going to head off and this chap will take his place. And we're unloading directly into the trailers because the mother bin hasn't showed up, which is a little bit odd. So, yes. Strange, but uh, I guess we'll get to the bottom of it and see where our mother bin driver has gone. Probably crashed somewhere or got stuck. Right, um, I'm just going to hop out and send our auto driver back to the silo. And then we are done with harvesting. And it'll be moving on to Arrow Downfield to get it limed. So we can just tell them to go to the next spot. There we go. And unload at the silo. And let's go get the harvester washed up, serviced, and parked. Because, yes, it's looking quite dirty now. There we go. Chance to get this all nicely cleaned up. Make some strange noises, this engine. Right, jet washer. Here we go. Get the header nicely cleaned, although it's not as dirty as the harvester. But this thing is absolutely filthy. I think it's because it hadn't been cleaned since we did the barley harvest in Lake Viewfield. And we've had quite a few harvests to do in Calm Farm. Well, until Nordic and I disappeared off to Zilonka. But Nordic and I were just talking that all fields are now harvested or empty. So they are all to be drilled. So we are going to have a bit of a drill fest going on fairly soon. And the only thing we've got to do really is lime arrow downfield our newest field and once that is done it's drill 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 whether we get that onto that this month we will have to wait and see but yes it would be nice to at least make a start next month all right that is all repaired now so we can park up the header we'll drop that off where we found it and we'll park up the harvester now, there is a bit of a question, really. What do we do with the new Holland harvesters, which we have had sat here not really doing a lot? Uh, I think we have a bit of an idea to potentially use them for our auto drivers and get them doing some harvesting in the future. But there is a matter of capacity. Um, the hopper is only a certain size, so it does mean the auto drivers will have to unload more frequently than we do with the Blizzard Colossus, but yeah, because they're auto driving, it's not really a problem for us. They can crack on with it at their leisure. Right, I think Nordic is fueling up. We need to do the same because the Colossus is nearly empty. Okay, that's now refueled. Took a long time because it is a big tank, and we've parked up Nordic's harvester. He is busy getting the mother bins back in and. Setting up a truck to run our lizard. Oh, I've jumped through the wall and I'm in the middle of the planter. That is good fun. There we go. I have escaped. So yes, Nordic is setting up some of the trucks. One with the auger master to get some lime. Because we are going to need that over at Arrow Down Field. And I should probably get these auto drivers sorted and parked away. Seem to be doing some skidding on the spot here. Go oh, the mother bins parked up, fantastic. And I think I did see the truck driving off to go and fetch some lime from the dealership. So many worthy contenders to choose from for doing the lime spreading duty. But I think we're going to jump in the T8 because uh, I don't recall us using this lately here we go so we'll jump in grab the amazon spreader and i don't know if there's lime in that or not already we will see 
I think Nordic's choice of tractor is the JCB Fast Track, so I'll be good. We'll have a different combination of tractors doing this job. We can hitch up. There's a little bit of lime in there, so maybe we'll just go see if we've got any loose lime or spare bags of lime dotted around at the other part of the yard. All right, I can see some bags here. I don't know what this is. I think this is probably a fertilizer. So we don't want that. We will just go and fill up from the auger master. So we managed to accomplish the two harvests today before the rain came. And we'll jet over to Arrow Downfield now to get the liming done and try and get most of that done before the rain hits, but we might not be so lucky unfortunately and i think the goal for the future of calm lands really is to buy all of the land and continue expanding until we own the whole area oh dear there's been an accident here i'd better just give the auto driver a bit of a nudge oh i think they just needed a friendly push which nordic is giving them there we go oh i really talked it up the rain has now started, so we're going to be doing all the liming whilst it's raining. I guess it helps to soak the lime into the ground and balance the pH of the soil, which is what we want. But yes, Nordic and I have got a few ideas for some of the land we're going to expand into in the future. And we're hoping to make a self-autonomous grass field that will just manage itself and we'll use auto drivers to fully manage that field to mow it and to collect it and then take it to the grass dryers to make hay and silage and whatever our choice is right so cover off quickly we don't want it getting too wet in the hopper but luckily the auger master does fill up quite quickly with lime there we go so I'm expecting us to use quite a lot of lime because it is the first time we are liming and the field is freshly created and that often means that we chew through lime like anybody's business. So we will see how we get on. But let's cover down and get set off. spreading done and the rain has gone which is good news only a short shower spell and luckily Nordic and I only needed to refill from the auger master once because of the level of lime and ah uh, here we go we've been waiting for this fella yeah luckily we didn't need him 
because, yes, we've sent him off to refill lime from the cooperative, where the lime is distributed. And, yes, he didn't come back for quite some time, so it was lucky that we didn't really need him. But yes, we'll have to usher him back to the yard, and the Orgo Master is full of lime for the next time we need it, which is good news. But I think we are going to finish up today by, well, parking up and probably doing a little inspect on our animals, see how they are doing, because it has been a little while since we checked in on them. Want to make sure they're up to good health, feed is full, water's full, and potentially we might have some pigs or some cattle to sell. Speeding back to the yard. Can't keep up with Nordic in that fast track. That thing is too speedy. Washed, serviced, parked up now, and we can drop the tractor off. And I think first port of call will probably be the pig farm, then the cows, and then we'll finish up at home with the chickens. So let's see how the animals have been. There we go, just managed to hitch a ride with one of the auto drivers who's bringing the slurry tank back to get some slurry from the pigs and take it to the BGA. And here are our pigs, so let's take a little look at how they are doing. Crikey, we've got 200 pigs, I reckon we might have some to sell. And they are looking pretty good for water, that's in the green, and then, yeah, slightly, probably need a bit more base food and stuff like that, but there's 51,000 litres of pig food, so we're doing pretty good. And I want to be looking to see if there's any at 1,200. There is some, and they are set to reproduce uh, the, well, in the next month actually or well, potentially the pig pen could be full and they're not going to reach 100% until we sell some so yes we might have to just sell some pigs we will see what's what next time and hello girls good to see you it's been a long time let's see how you're getting on so we have 266 cows there's one set of 112 which I think is nearing the full price and they're nearly there at the reproduction so I think once these do reproduce we'll be in a position to sell a batch this other set of 112 are nearing puberty so once they have reached puberty they will start the reproduction line and this set of 42 are 66 percent of the way there for puberty so we potentially could be full of cows at the moment and we need to sell some so we'll see how's best to proceed with that but yes looks like they do need some water but they're pretty good for hay and lastly we've made it back to the farmhouse to check in on the chickens and yeah they're looking pretty good got lots of eggs in storage here which we'll need to sell at some point but yeah 360 chickens let's see how they're doing for feed so they are into the red so they need a top up of grain we'll look to do that next time along with potentially selling some pigs and some cows we'll see what needs to be done there ah but it has been a busy first day back on calm farm but let's inspect the map to see what we've got to do next time wowee lots to do next time because we have pretty much all of our fields ready to drill south bank lakeside cowman pig farm hillside Lakeview and Arrow Down, crikey. So all of those fields to drill. I think we'll try and tackle as much of the drilling as possible next month. We might not get through all fields, but maybe we can do half and half across two sessions, two months. Uh, yeah, seems like we've got a lot of work to do, Nordic, but we will catch you next time. So I hope you have enjoyed watching. And of course, if you didn't see what Nordic and I got up to in Zilonka on our little adventure, please do go check that out. But if you have enjoyed watching, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you've got any tips, tricks or things you'd like us to do, feel free to leave a comment. But until next time on Calm Lands, Nordic and I will see you then. Cheers all. Bye bye.